Welcome to the Giga Hub Weekly Show, where we are going to talk about Peacemaker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But first, I want to talk about our sponsor, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave, Cosmic Comics. Mecca. Oh. Right. Oh, yeah. pop culture mecca. I like right, it. I right. like it a lot. All things pop culture here. Lots of comics, back issues, and they ship now. And you can check a link to the store right below in the comments. Yep. All right. Peacemaker. Let's get into it. Peacemaker. If you'll remember, Peacemaker was one of the things I was looking forward to in 2022 on that <laughs> yes. video. Right. So oh, right. I'm yeah, doing yeah. pretty good right. so far. Um, all right. So Peacemaker is, of course... Um, is of course a spinoff from the Suicide Squad movie that came out on HBO last year, which right. we also reviewed. Which yeah, we mm-hmm. should probably put a link to that. Yeah, oh, as good well. Idea. Yeah, good idea. Um, and uh, it's an eight-episode series. It just came out, I, I believe, this month, right? Uh, it's like a week ago. It's like a, a week yeah. and a half ago. Uh, yeah, not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, of course, it stars John Cena, who returns as Peacemaker. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I couldn't see anybody. Yeah, I didn't see anyone there. I just saw a helmet with no face and hands. <laughs> Um, Someday that joke will go away, uh, yeah, says him. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Holland, who reprises her role as uh, Amelia Harcourt, and Steve right. Agee, who you've probably seen in a bunch of stuff, yeah, yeah. Uh, will, uh, also comes back. Um, Robert Patrick is in this as well, <laughs> yeah. which I got is which. Okay, let's just let's just get into it, right? That opening, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was good. That I, opening I, I, though. Yeah. Best opening to a DC show that ever. Was, I thought it was going to be a one-time thing. It was nope. not. It's every episode, and it gives you the option to skip the intro, but I don't I know don't why skip. you would. I yeah, never I don't skip, skip it. it. Yeah. It's so weird to watch uh, Robert Patrick thrusting <laughs> yeah, his hips. Yeah, he goes... <laughs> yeah, thrusting his hips. Uh, uh, dance. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I it's love insane. Robert Patrick. That dude's good in everything. He's even good in Double Dragon, and that movie... Is terrible. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh yeah, he's God. the best thing in that movie, and, and Alyssa and Milano is in ter- that movie. And he's even terrible in it, but yeah. that's he's still the best thing in that movie. And Alyssa <laughs> Milano's in it, so right, you right. tell me. Robert Patrick is the best. Yes. Uh, all right, as we know, of course, Robert Patrick and John Cena have worked together on a wonderfully marvelous film called The Marine. I don't know if anybody saw that. I, I did not see no. that one. <laughs> they were wonderful together. Is that um, the prequel to Peacemaker? <laughs> it's a prequel to Peacemaker. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, that opening though, really, uh, wow! It took me by surprise, but it just—it it was really like a Bollywood sh- ending, but it was the intro. Yeah, it's <laughs> it was good. It's a real. It's it's it really sets the tone for the show. Yeah, don't take it too damn seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so what do we want to get into first? Do we want to get into the good, the bad? What's what's going on? What are we thinking, guys? Not really what do you, any, you got a thought? Go for it. There's not really any bad I could think of. Wow. I, so far, this has been probably one of the best DC live action shows ever, and that's not really saying much. Cause but what about Doom Patrol, dude? Well, Doom Patrol's my still it's still my number one. Peacemaker's probably my number two. Mm. Yeah, I still gotta watch it, Doom Patrol in the pile of crappy DC shows that exist. <laughs> there Har- a, Harley Quinn. There's a lot of them. Harley Quinn's good. Um, I do not like Arrow at all. Uh, I never get into Arrow. A lot of people. Yeah, I don't like the CW. Just, I'm not big on the CW. Uh, yeah, the CW shows, CW never. I couldn't make Honestly, it. Honestly, more actually, pretty much every DC project that's going to be a ongoing show that's live action should be yeah. like this b- bigger budget something that i could actually tolerate <laughs> well that's the thing i think this show is definitely a step in a different direction for dc if you look at all the movies when they started putting out movies and tv shows and stuff and then you look at something like a peacemaker or a suicide squad now it's like they're taking that step remember i was telling you the best things that they can do is is just be an adult an adult sort of media company, right? right. Like adult, right. more adult movies, well, yeah. more mature, I should say, not adult, M- more mature movies, more mature shows well, that right. still He's... have like the goofiness of a Marvel movie, right. but not for children. This right. show, yeah, this show is not, not for, for children, children. No, it's, yeah. and it's probably one of the most immature adult <laughs> shows ever made. It's on, such a <laughs> for DC. It's yeah, in you such know, a good way though. There, yeah, there's a there's a there's a underlying narrative that i really appreciate mm. and that, I, under, I think and I that what it is. underlying narrative is sort of like dealing with dealing with that legacy of hate mm. whether it's yourself your family right the world in general i really like i really appreciated that for a peacemaker's character well yeah, yeah. peacemaker the f- fact of who his dad is oh yeah that. yeah He's dealing with that legacy of ignorance and hate, and I just I thought that was great. But I thought that was really cool. What's funny is like a guy like this. First off, I, what I hope 
does not happen is that they pull a Punisher and they start putting like the dove on every on like yeah, yeah. the back of car windshields yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to see that. I, this is I not, don't want to see his yeah. dove co opted. Yeah, yeah. This is mm-hmm. not a guy, and, and just like just like Punisher, this is not, not a, a guy, guy who should be a hero yeah. to Emulated. anyone. Yeah, yeah exactly. Emulated. But there's something about a guy like this who normally. I would not like whatsoever, but right. like you see like the little moments. Yeah. I think in the right. first episode uh-huh. was in the first I think believe it was in the first episode where he was crying in his room. Oh that was the very beginning of the second episode. Yeah, he felt okay. bad for killing Rick Flagg. Yeah. And he broke yeah, down. and That's he just when broke down. Right. Showed up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So like but. there's like little moments like that where he's yeah. just very Human, you can see why he's yes. so flawed, and I think yeah. that's what makes him really yeah. likable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On top of just being like a Chad bro, jerk. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because here's the thing um, that I kind of appreciate about the character as a whole that he's kind of an ignorant jackass that at at the same time doesn't really he's not really self aware about it. For example, in the diner scene, well, he's becoming self aware. Yeah. yeah, in the diner scene where he calls a waitress. Sugar. Sweet cheeks, yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet cheeks. cheeks. Yeah, he's yeah. like he, did, he doesn't know that it's actually a sexist term. Like, it's like no, it's, uh, misog- it's a misogynist term for a butt. But yeah. he, he was talking about her actual like cheeks, cheeks like, like her. She like, had a very cherubic face. It's <laughs> sweet yeah. cheeks. You know? And then it's like, like um, and then like that'd be like saying sugar tits to yeah. someone. It's like no, like she doesn't have any. They're too big. They're too big. Yeah, hers would be. Or like, and then like there's people like yours. Yeah, like he's not very aware of that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. something sheltered about him for sure. And then, of course, like his dad is just such a jerk. Oh, a jerk. his dad, dad is, is fucking worse. Yeah, and that was yeah. the whole point but, of Eagly hugging him was just the the dichotomy of his dad just like walking away. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. His dad wouldn't hug him, wouldn't acknowledge him. I love I that scene where the where the eagle jail. where the eagle hugged like, him. Yeah. I, Eagly. <laughs> it made me oh, appreciate man. my dog more. Like <laughs> yeah. you could hug me too, you know. And he didn't care. He just looked at you like, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. Feed me. <laughs> exactly. Um, there's a lot of new people who have come on to the show, uh, or who have, who are on the show that weren't in the movie. Uh, Daniel Brooks, who plays Leota, who is the uh, uh, she's the new field agent, who right. you come to find out has a very close tie, yeah, very in the close D- in the DC universe, yeah. very extremely close. Yeah. Um, she's really great. Yeah. She was good. She's yeah. funny. She's I, really re- good. I really, I, I do like That's her. That's a quite completely a bit. Yeah. different part than uh, Orange Is the New Black, and she's. Oh yeah. Oh, she she's, was in that. Yeah, yeah. She was really good in this. Like, what was she, what was she in? Or she's how just was one she, of the inmates. Right. Yeah. What was she like? Um, she was. Initially, she was more tough and then kind of softened as the show went on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, it was a much more serious character where this character's kind of goofy and nerdy and likable. Yeah. And it was really good, yeah. She and was, she was really, it was her, like two completely different characters. It was great. And her character is there to, like, basically make Peacemaker more self-aware of what he's doing. And yeah. I honestly think she does a good job of that. You know yeah. what? This I, I see, yeah, like, yeah. this dichotomy of, like, Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio. With her and Peacemaker, <laughs> maybe we're yeah. like he's starting to like sort of yeah. learning to he become was a wooden boy. It, it, he doesn't it, have yeah, real ex- emotions exactly. Yeah. Now he's learning to to yeah. do all those things. He's learning to feel yeah. all he's these things because of her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's crazy he's a for sociopath. sure. Yeah. I mean, if you remember him in Suicide Squad, like he was like super brash but yeah. very capable, right? And yeah. we're seeing like this whole other side to him that, of course, probably was. Yeah. The catalyst being that he killed Rick Flagg, yeah. and Rick Flagg called him a joke. Yeah, yeah. So, which made him question his own ethics. Not only morale, yeah, ethics, morality, sense of duty and honor, those kind of things. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. And I, I, like, I guess. Oh, go ahead. I know. Like, oh, I like how they explore more of Peacemaker's gear. How he has a whole bunch of different helmets. Yeah, yeah. His dad makes all which his is helmets from yeah. the comics, I guess, from the old comics. Yeah, he had a bunch the old of, Charlton comics. Yeah, he had a bunch of old high tech gear, I guess. Hmm. Um, By the way, I think if I remember correctly, the city that he lives in has the name Charl Carlton in it. Charlton, uh, Carl, how do you pronounce it? Like the comic Carlton book. Carlton Comics. That's what yeah. I always thought. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking but I mean, too. But I guess you can pronounce it either way because it was Charlton Heston. <laughs> that's spelled the same way. Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna say Charlton, and yeah. you know, somebody can correct me. I guess. <laughs> right. But uh, that's the name of the. I believe it's the name of the town that they're in. The the you know how they're all like it, uh, based out of the DC cities, you know, Star right. City and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that's where he's based off of. Who was, you know. He was created by Charlton Comics, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. He's a Charlton Comics He's creation. Sweeter. And he was supposed to be uh, the comedian. He was supposed to play the yeah. comedian role. Back when uh, Watchmen was going to be adopted oh, from actual, DC, yes. actual DC yeah. characters, 
He was supposed the to be the comedian role. Yeah. Yes, and, and then um, once that Blue sort of ended. Yeah, and Blue Beetle would have been Night Owl. Yeah, right. Blue Beetle was Night Owl. Yeah. Batman was, of course, uh, Rorschach. Was it Rorschach or was he Night Owl? I thought Batman was Night Owl, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Be night owl, no, I think. I think Blue Beetle was Night Owl because of the way his ship looks like and how his gear is. Oh, well, that could be sure. right. They might have just changed that. It's been a while. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, oh, all the new people are great. Uh, I don't want to. So the, they're sort of field commander. I don't. I. I. Uh, I hope I'm saying this he looks name familiar, right. but I didn't. I, didn't I know hope I'm saying this name right. Chuck Chuck Woody, Iwuji. Sure. I, really I'm so know, yeah. sorry if that's the the the, the field commander. Yeah, oh. the kind of guy who leads a clan. Uh, oh, Mern. oh, him. Mern, yeah. yeah. I I'm Ooh. so sorry if I butchered that name. I ugh, it's very uh, <laughs> hard to pronounce. <laughs> um, but I mean, like, what what else? What did you guys? What else did you guys like? Um, I like the selection of villains so far. Um, we got Judo Master, who is a really short. Person? Domestic is a very small guy, but he kicked the crap out of so uh, many he? people that show already. I, yeah, I, I think that comes I later, though. The, we only yeah. saw the first episode. Oh, we're spoiling it. Yeah, I only saw the first two. That's okay, though. Um, He's the little guy in the beginning, though, that he lifts on his shoulder, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Riz, the whole scene, which was hilarious, is that first scene with Rizwan Manjani, the guy who was the, the janitor. Yeah, who yeah, I had yeah, seen, yeah. Who I, I'd right. see, who's, he's one of those guys, you see his see face. a lot of things. He's in a lot of things. You're like, oh, hey, it's that guy. Playing the similar yeah. part, yeah. Yeah, he's basically like this. I think he was, wasn't he Abed's dad in Community, I believe? Probably. I think so. You can't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I went to MIT. I dropped out because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, like that. Can I tell scene. you something and not tell and not tell anybody? Oh, you can absolutely. I can keep a secret. That's <laughs> the exact opposite of everything you just said. <laughs> yeah, th- I mean that that whole scene really, it, if not for the opening, that whole scene yeah. right there just sort of sets the tone of the yeah. show, which yep. is kind of weird, kind of goofy. Yeah, uh, really, really good. Though. He's very capable, but he's also kind of a boob. Yeah, yes. he is. Oh yeah, like when he was stealing that one lady's <laughs> records and CDs. Well, she was dead. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but like that's that that was one of the things that crossed his mind. Like, I gotta get out of here. Let me steal some stuff. I, I need these records. Stuff. Yeah, I need, I need these records. records. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. And he, and he made it a point to keep going back and making sure he had everything. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get all these records. Yeah, it's funny. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a fan of John Cena right, whatsoever. Right. But for some reason, him as Peacemaker makes me like him. Yeah, yeah. It's really weird. I don't. I can't. I, I can't really you. explain it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Vigilante is probably my second favorite character in that show. Vigilante. I think. Does he show up in the first episode? No, uh, no. He doesn't no. show up second. until the second. Okay. Because I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not okay. trying to spoil it because uh, I watched all of I saw them the while I was out last week. I wanted to watch more, but um, like I said, this um, afternoon I... <laughs> okay, when you watch it, I'm not going to say any more, but I, here's what I will say about Vigilante, okay? Yeah. When you start to get to know Vigilante as a person, yeah. you're going to realize that you at some point in your life met this kid. Yeah. <laughs> or was that kid. <laughs> or or you were that. Yeah, and if you never met that kid, you were that you kid. Were that, yeah. You were that kid. Yeah. Uh, Vigilante... Well, in episode two, like how he explains, it's like, oh, like it's our job to kill people. Like, like how, like you think I enjoy killing we, someone over murder rather it be, no. rather it be, um, what? killing I love someone it. else, yeah. <laughs> or like. Well, he killed. He, they kill. He kills for any reason. I think yes, he was starting it, to name the reasons why he kill. Like, he kills like people who murder. And then he starts going to like people yeah. who hurt other people. That's like graffiti. And, yeah. and then he starts going to graffiti. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, dang. <laughs> and, he, and at the end, when yeah. they're in bed together, and he, oh yeah, <laughs> he's like, three years ago, I would have killed you both." Yeah, because oh, yeah. they, they were smoking. Because it was they're, legalized. They're yeah, yeah. Legalized but now. like, and and freaking vigilante, he's he is just as deranged as Peacemaker is, oh, and. Yeah. He as he is almost, he's almost as skilled as with weapons. He with, he's much more self aware though. I think yeah. than yeah. Peacemaker is. I think yeah. Peacemaker does. He's obviously from you can tell from like the clips. He's probably been brain. He's probably he's been brainwashed by his dad. Yeah. So Le- he's legacy one of those. Of hate. That's that legacy yeah. of hate he's dealing with. So it's one of those things where it's like I love peace. I will kill any and, man, yeah. woman, and child <laughs> to get peace. It's <laughs> like oh peace, okay, yeah. something <laughs> something's very wrong with you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so but. Uh, like the character, like Vigilante, is pretty much aware of what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, but at the same time, you could tell that both Peacemaker and Vigilante would be like good friends because of how they handle <laughs> yeah. what they believe to be evil. I liked, yeah. I liked, I liked Peacemaker's little rant at the beginning when, uh, or Vigilante's little rant when Peacemaker kind of dismisses him, kind of like, "Yeah, you're nothing" or something, and 
vigilante's like, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, you went to jail. Guess who didn't go to jail? Because <laughs> I keep my mask on. <laughs> like, I was like, yes, exactly. Yeah, it just turns into like a weird competition. They have another discussion like that about their dads. It's really... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. It's yeah. so funny. Um <laughs> Vigilante, of course, created by the great Marv Wolfman for DC in the uh, 80s. Yes. Yep. Yes. Creator of the Teen Titans. We, oh, we don't have it anymore. We, had a no, we actually Marv. had a number one of Vigilante I back went, there for a while. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. I'm sure it got I used to have a signed one by Marv Wolfman when I was a teenager. Yeah. Really? I don't know what happened to it. An old Peacemaker comic? No, uh, Vigilante. Vigilante. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, Vigilante. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I don't know why I was thinking of Peacemaker. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, uh, Marv Wolfram, creator of Teen Titans. Yes. Um, yep, yep. The comic, not the TV show on no. Cartoon Network, which was also pretty good. Let's not lie. Uh, okay, so, I mean, it's pretty unanimous, right? I mean, we really, I, I watched the, I didn't watch the newest episode, the fifth episode, but I watched all four episodes last yeah. week while I was out. Um, and I don't know, like, what do you, what do you think, uh, just from the, watching the first, you said you only watched the first episode, right? The first two. Uh, oh, the first two. First okay. Two. We can't go into the more crazy stuff that happens. Yeah, it gets crazy. Every episode oh, just sort of seems to, like, escalate. Escalate. Yeah, it just gets better and better as, as it goes on. Um, and HBO doing the smart thing of not just releasing it all at once, but releasing it little by little. Yeah. Um, mm. which is a smart thing. It's just not the thing that I want. I yeah. want all of it right yes. now. I don't right. want to. But, you know, it keeps you from buying the app, from, like, doing, like, a trial, watching right. the whole show, and then just never getting HBO uh. Max. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I went. So I was going somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Is there anything to hate about the show? Um, uh, not really. I, you know, I know some people, they, they, I guess, you know, there's some people that just don't like what James Gunn does. Mm. Oh, yeah. And whatever. <laughs> I mean, I, I think if nothing else, he's kind of a master at c- creating media that's gratuitous intentionally so. Mm, yeah. And for its Gr- own gratuity for its own sake. I mean, well, yeah. He, it seems like it's. But it's he also like always has an underlying current of, of like serious things. And I yes. think he's really good at that. It, al- it almost seems like the, gratu- like the, the gratuitousness of the show is like a parody well exactly like yeah, to, like it's so I mean. gratuitous it's for to its point to where it's yeah. Pretty, yeah. yeah yeah it's for its own yeah sake. he james gunn he's worked on trauma movies before yeah yeah, so. yeah. tromeo and juliet yes <laughs> um <laughs> you know and it still has that underlying theme that's a lot deeper and richer than what it looks like on the on the surface you know i, I probably would have liked kick-ass if he actually ended up doing that because oh yeah. is he supposed to do kick-ass no no no, no i'm or? just kick-ass is just gratuity for its own sake and yeah to me there's no real I mean, D- deeper meaning than that. Mm. The, the meaning behind kick ass is that if you have yeah. a pre- if you have a disconnect from reality, you're gonna get your ass kicked if you try being a superhero. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, you know what though? I think vigilante is like a good representation of like that kick ass kind of kind attitude. Of, yeah. Like once you start to get to know him, you're just like, yeah, he's this yeah. guy who probably read comic. I mean, I, I guess it was mentioned at some point that he plays D and D too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. So like he's definitely into like nerdy stuff, but yeah. he just kind of went like this weird way of like <laughs> running around being a. a a vigil, well, an actual vigilante, I guess. I play D&D. But um, I know, you, but you do get hints. Of and you're not a vigilante yet, because yeah. I've been running around for years already. <laughs> oh, wow. You do get hints of his backstory here and there, but it's like really subtle and doesn't really affect the plot at all. Like, because yeah. there's post credit scenes in there, but the post credit scenes are just the jokes extended. Yeah. Um, for, for vigilante, for vigilante, I forgot what's what's the what's her, what's her name, the one that Peacemaker likes. Oh, uh, uh, hard, hard hardcore, hardcore. Yeah, yeah. yeah hard basically, yeah. in the episode where Judo Masters introduced hardcore, is like, if we fail this mission, I'll kill your family. And Vigilante is like, ha, you're kind of too late on that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sh- oh, wow, <laughs> <laughs> wow. So it implies that I don't know he probably has a horrific backstory. <laughs> probably. Probably. Wait, I mean, I don't know. Are those extended scenes like canon? Like, are they part oh, of yeah. the show's oh, history? Because yeah. they do. Men- he does make mention of like his dad yeah. at some point. Uh-huh. Uh, Vigilante's dad. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for you. No. I think you should watch it. It's actually a really there funny scene. There are subtle Easter eggs that, like, lead into the more weird side of the DCEU, like, or uh, yeah. DC Universe in general. Like, like um, they're not appearances, so I don't I don't know if I should say, because I don't know if it's spoilers or not. Yeah. Um, I'll say one of them. 
They mentioned Batmite, and Batmite's an actual character. He did mention yeah, Batmite. Bat Mite, yeah. Batmite's canon. Yes, yes. Batmite's canon, guys. Oh, I don't know man. how they're going to do it, but maybe Tra- he'll be in the Robert uh, Pattinson Batman movie. Right, right. What's his name? Um, he's, he's from the Legion Errors from the future. Uh, Matter Eater Lad. Matter he Eater makes Lad? a reference yeah. to Matter Eater Lad. Yeah. Uh, apparently Kite Man's a thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. wow, okay. so dude, I mean, cool. they do live in a world where, like, everyone, so, like, Batman. Yeah, Batman's they, they, like they a clearly live in that world, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. The conversation with a neighbor. Yeah. It's so, like Batman has super villains. <laughs> Do you have a coterie of super villains? Like, no, because I put him six feet in the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many people has Batman indirectly killed by just sending <laughs> by guys sending to, jail? to jail? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so it, it's it's surreal, but I also like it how basically Peacemaker and all the weird crap of the DC mythos coexist with Zack Snyder's vision of the Justice League that's supposed to be the dark, moody, and edgy version. Yeah. Like, wow. So, you're telling me Batmite exists in the same universe as Ben Affleck's Batman? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Why didn't we see Batmite in the future? Right, yeah. Where was Batmite? Maybe because Batmite is not a fan of, uh, what's his name, is Batman. Ben Affleck? <laughs> ben Affleck is Batman. He was a good Batman. And you know what? If he doesn't show up in that new Batman movie, he's not a fan of Robert Pattinson either. Mm, I, that, I don't know. <laughs> I think we already talked about that movie. <laughs> All right, so I gotta I gotta finish the Night Stalker first though, because well, spoilers. That's gonna be one of my one shots coming up. Is I'm gonna review everything that was created by Jeff Rice regarding Kolchak. But uh, anyway, <laughs> All right, I only so, got like four episodes left. I, I think we've gone on long enough. I mean, it's pretty obvious yeah, yeah. that we like the show. Yeah, we so like. I mean, let's give it no our downside. Let's, really, let's give it a rating yeah, then, no guys. Downside. Out of four stars, so far, Peacemaker I, has four out of four stars so far. Um, first right two first. episodes, four stars. Yeah. <sighs> All right, guys. Here's where we're gonna get serious. One point five. No. One star. No, no get it. Four, no, four stars. Wow. And, and I mean, I've I haven't watched the new fifth uh, episode. Yeah. I've only watched the first four. Um, <laughs> but so far, like I said. It seems like every episode just sort of escalates, <laughs> and it just sort of gets better and better. It's good. This is what I wanted Jesus DC Christ. to do. Like, if they wanted to be like, oh, we're not going to be like Marvel. Okay, well, no, nobody likes the product. You know, okay, well, let's be more like Marvel. Okay, but how about you not be more like Marvel? How about we go, how about we do some lateral thinking? If you're oh, going to be funny, let's just be, let's just double down on the adult humor. Yeah. yeah. Let's just double down on the on the maturity. I mean, you know, they, you said it earlier in a different way. They struck the tone of the show early, and that's fine. It's fine. Mm. And it does seem to coexist in the same universe as at least the second Suicide, suicide Squad movie, which is also fine. Yeah. Um, but, you know, DC, I think DC is always going to struggle with the big ones. Mm. Yeah. They're always going to struggle. They're Especially nowadays, they're always going to struggle with Superman and Batman because those characters are so... I, in they're a so sense, revered. In a, well, they're also protected. Yeah. In a way that... They won't really take risks, but at the same time, when they do decide to take a risk, it's some goofy, really off the wall thing, yeah. like, like Zack Snyder tried to do. You know, oh, it's man. just so different that you're just like, what? You know what I mean? Yeah. They can't. They can't seem to find that balance. Well, here's you the know, thing. and I think it's the same thing with Marvel, which, you know, I think DC had the same approach with their comics. If you look yeah. at like. The three ninety nine comics, right? Yeah. That your Batman three ninety nine, four ninety nine, your Batman's, your Supermans, your Wonder Woman's, right? Like the big the big time guys were like the big three it was the big time characters were three ninety nine and up, at least yeah. at the time when I was buying individual comics. Yeah. yeah. And those were always the comics where there was no risk involved. Yeah. It was a very ho hum story. But if you read the two ninety nine comics, which were yeah. like the lesser known characters, yeah. there was more freedom right. to do more with yeah. them yeah. because I mean the way they saw it, like nobody really cared enough. Oh yeah. For whatever they did, you and know then, what I mean? Yeah, and then when something is truly interesting, but it doesn't work, they, or at least it doesn't work right away, they bail within six months. I mean, it's like, oh yeah, like I that. mean, look at you know poor Dick Grayson as Batman and Damian Wayne. I mean, that didn't last very long, and that was good, and that was good <laughs> stuff. But readership suffered, so they went right back to um, boring old Bruce Wayne as Batman. Mm. Batman in, in the new Fifty Two. Batman right. Callum into wedding it. Almost happened. Yeah. There was a big hype and build up to it, and they were lo- selling lots of merch about it, but yeah. it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Um, Superman having a son, John O'Kent, like, oh, okay, so the kid's going to gradually grow up to be a great Superman. Nope, nope, nope. He has to remain as Clark. Clark has to be Superman still. John, um, just age him up and make him Superman 2, yeah. I guess. Yeah. They can't retire or whatever. I mean, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, instead of, you know, having a character that just, progressively it just seems becomes like they, the next Superman, you just got to... They play, yeah, no, no, they play things weird, yeah. safe with these characters, right, to, the where, big characters. To, where, to where it's a detriment. Yeah. 
you know, and, yeah. oh, and yeah. you make stupid decisions like that, and they just don't make sense. To whereas these characters, they just kind of fly off the wall and are oh yeah are I, able to I, have more freedom to do more. I've always been a fan of aging characters out or killing them off, like for good, mm. because I mean, you know, at some point, as much as I love Spider Man, at some point you got to go. Yeah, you got to make room, and you got to make room, and you got to take risk on newer characters, and you need to. You need to keep trying new characters until yes. they start to stick. That's why you should read Spider-Man Life Story, because last issue, yeah. yeah he, he still got to check he that He kind of bites the dust. Yeah. Okay. All right, so four, four out of four, 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 out of four, four stars four. all the way to, wow, this is an elite level, <laughs> elite piece, level of, show. piece of media, guys, yeah. that we've, I don't, I have to go through and see what else we gave four stars to. Hey, <laughs> um, I hated <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, too. <laughs> I mean, I the, only, the legit only part about that movie I liked was Ego. Because I just like Ego. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, four stars for Peacemaker. Four Obviously, uh, you should go check it out if you can. It's on HBO Max. Yes. I always forget. Yep. It's on HBO Max right now. The first five episodes as of recording should be up. Hell yeah. Um, and you should definitely check it out. Yep. And if you haven't watched yes. the Suicide Squad movie, you should watch that first. Yes, watch it with the whole family, kids. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't, don't do that. Don't this do is, that. This, <laughs> is not a sh- this is not for children. <laughs> uh, all right. So... With that out of the way, is there anything else that we would like to add? Um, no, but um, check out a link below for a link to our review of Suicide Squad. Yes. Mm. Um, so I'll Which I that. believe is probably also an elite level movie, right? Did yes. you give I it think four, we all like that one too. Four yeah. stars as I think, well. I think we all like that it's one It's probably one of the best comic book movies of last year, yeah. especially on the DC side of things. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. All right, guys. Uh, so... Um, what did you guys think of uh, Peacemaker? If you liked it or hated it, let us know in the comments right. below. Uh, remember to like or dislike the video, right. if, whatever you want, and subscribe uh, so that you can get notified when new videos come up. And all of the links, the link for the store, the the link to the video, everything will right. be in the description for you guys to check out. We have a Patreon if you're at all interested we have a in Patreon. helping us out. Yes. yes. Yeah. If you sign on to our Patreon right now, right now, Tony will go hang out with you right now. Wow. Tony will go to your I house. probably put that on the page. And he'll play video <laughs> games with you. Let's go to Disneyland. And you're or, paying. Or go to Disneyland. That's, you can go to Disneyland That's with Tony. not true, by the way. <laughs> and you're paying. Or, or, I mean, Tony seems to be up for it. Can we not just do it? <laughs> and you're going to clean my throw up after. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Tony get. I don't know if you guys ever went to Disneyland with Tony. Well, Tony think, gets messed think, up think, at Disneyland. I don't think three three bucks a month from an individual is going to pay for a plane ticket for Tony to fly somewhere to hang out with him and play video okay, games. Okay, but the $3 makes it so Tony wants to go hang out oh, with you. Okay. So then you Tony pay for everything. To come hang Tony out will want to come hang out with you. <laughs> and it'll be so much fun. Um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for uh, watching this video. And yeah. uh, again, remember to like, like or dislike and subscribe. Yeah. And we yes. will see you guys next week. Thank you. Good Yay. night.